Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. If you've been watching my previous videos, you'd know I had the Lego Speed Champions Lamborghini set. In my previous video for 600 subscribers, thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed and is supporting the channel. Giving me a good thumbs up, thank you very much to you guys. Hope you're all well. Now in the previous video, we put together the Lamborghini Hurricane Evo. And for this video, we've got the Lamborghini Urus, the, it's classed as the STX, and we're going to be putting that together. I've already done an unboxing in the previous video, I'll link that up in, I think it's that corner, the right way around. But anyway, we've already done the unboxing, so I'm going to get the bits out, the Lamborghini Urus, and we're going to get going on that, the lime green colour, I'm a real fan of that colour. I wouldn't mind a car in that colour in real life, you know, it's a bit outrageous, but I do like the colour. But anyway, I'm going to get this spread out on the table. We're going to do a time lapse, then we'll have a quick look around the vehicle. Guys, so this completes the build on set 76899, the Lego Speed Champions Lamborghini Urus and Hurricane Evo set. Now, once again, a bit like the Lamborghini, this build on the Urus was not straightforward. I made not many mistakes, but I made one fundamental mistake on the front that I had to go and remove quite a few pieces. Don't know if you'll pick that up in the time lapse. Uh, other than that, not too bad. It's some of these real angular shaped ones that can get slightly confusing if you put them in slightly wrong place. I'm really impressed how they've used the angles on the side to give the uh, lines and flow of the car. And it's quite a chunk, this one, the Urus, <laughs> the four-wheel drive uh, Lamborghini uh, 4x4 or, S or SUV, whatever you want to call it. One complaint about this uh, model, all of the shots on the box and of this are from a very low profile view. If you're going to put this down on display and that, what you're really drawn to is this green top here and it's plain, it's just so plain. Um, I know perhaps the vehicle in real life wouldn't have any graphics on there, but now whether you want to take this as a model or a toy for kids to play with, however you want to look at it, however it's presented, from this top down view it just makes the whole thing look quite plain. It really needed something on the top here, I don't quite know, stripes, whatever, something, something needed for the top of that. Uh, but as I say, if you get down, you squat down and you look at the lower profile of this, it's an absolutely mean machine. Wide arches, wheels sticking out, close up view. I'll do a few closer up shots of this because it's quite unique. He's got to say, it's really captured the car very well. Um, so the set overall, not easy to build. It's not the easiest set I've ever put together. But we also built the uh, 
lights over the start finish gate and a cool little feature as I prune this together let's just swap this over a minute I did actually think this part when I put it on well that's not attached but as you make it up it comes together to make sense and on here you can have your lights on red or swap them over to green obviously the kids might be playing with it but the adults are putting these together to display quite a nice set you could make a little track or something so I'm going to put together in future I've got some shelves and bits might even make my own a little race track who knows that's something coming in the future but um, I've enjoyed putting this one together it the build on these has been a lot longer than any of the LEGO uh, Speed Champion sets I've done so far. They're, they're not overly difficult to do, but they're just a bit more complex because of the angular shapes. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick montage of me putting this together. And as I say, at some point in the future, we'll get all of these displayed. And I'm quite well aware that there are some Lego Technic models, a lot more that's coming out, a lot more adult oriented, but they've also got a hefty price to them. And that's why I like the Lego Speed Champions. They're affordable to everyone and not just people with money burning a hole in their back pocket. Anyway, that's the end of this video. More content to come this week. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please remember, do get subscribed. Give the video a thumbs up. Keep positive, guys. Tough times, but just keep positive. I will see you in more videos to come. Peace out.